tuning into the channel. Today we are going to be discussing some of the uh, top cryptocurrency exchanges to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. So I'm going to just jump right into it. The first one that I wanted to talk about today is Coinbase. And so I personally use Coinbase. Uh, I've moved a lot of my funds out into some of the other cryptocurrency exchanges that I'm going to cover here in the next uh, few minutes. Uh, but this was the one that I initially started with. Uh, it's a really nice and easy to use cryptocurrency exchange and uh, it has a huge amount of users uh, so the privacy and security uh, seem to be you know done really well and there doesn't seem to be a lot of complaints or issues as far as the privacy aspect of it the only downside to coinbase is that if there is a huge run-up uh, and a lot of money flowing into the cryptocurrencies coinbase always seems to go down at those times and you if you look up coinbase online you'll see though that as a complaint from pretty much all of its users and i have not had that issue with the next three cryptocurrency exchanges that i'm going to talk about which is kraken binance us and uphold uh, but overall Coinbase is really cool and they have a lot of uh, really cool giveaways. So look right here. If you sign up today, you can get five dollars in free Bitcoin. And then if you go ahead and complete these trainings on different cryptocurrencies, you'll get free money in the in the cryptocurrencies as well. And so there's more than is even listed here. And so I actually have done that for most of them. And I think I made a total of about 50 or 55 dollars. Uh, from just doing those training courses and you're going to get that in the in that cryptocurrency so if it goes up in the future you actually make more money than you originally uh, got just from completing the course so it's pretty cool um, definitely a really easy one to use a lot of people sign up with coinbase to, to start out with their cryptocurrency exchanges and then when you start to learn more about other cryptocurrencies and the availability on other exchanges you might want to branch out that's the main reason i'm signed up for multiple currency exchanges is for that specific reason that there was other ones that i was looking for that i wasn't able to purchase on coinbase the next one that i tried out was kraken and the only reason i tried this one out uh, was because i just wanted to be able to to see what the pros and cons are between some of these top cryptocurrency exchanges so kraken is another very popular cryptocurrency exchange uh, so if you want to check that one out, you can go ahead and go to uh, Kraken.com or you can follow the link in my description down below and go ahead and check out Kraken. Uh, one of my favorite exchanges is going to be Binance US. And Binance specifically had uh, a couple cryptocurrencies that I couldn't find on the other three exchanges that I'm currently using. So that was the reason I signed up for Binance. Another thing that I really like about Binance is if you let's see let's jump into markets is the data that they show on each of the cryptocurrency like market platforms uh, I just think the information is way better you can see in here you kind of cover uh, your trade history the charts uh, are feel are, are built a lot better than what is on the other three cryptocurrency exchanges and then you can just watch here and see for active active trades uh, going on so it's pretty cool I really like Binance US and it pretty much has all the same offerings as the other cryptocurrency uh, exchanges as well as additional tokens. Um, and then last is going to be Uphold. So I have um, a lot of my cryptocurrency still held in Uphold. It's a very, really good system as well. And uh, I have not had any issues with, you know, the privacy and security. And one of the really cool things recently was Uphold kind of made a stand for one cryptocurrency called XRP. We're not going to delist it uh, because of a current lawsuit going on uh, until that lawsuit is uh, finalized. So a lot of the other cryptocurrency exchanges have uh, delisted or banned trading and selling of XRP, which is this one right here. Uh, but Uphold, uh, you know, kind of made that point to say no we're going to wait for this case to close so uh, some respect to uphold for doing that as well as uh, just a really ease of use um, platform so i really do like uphold and so far i've signed up for level three verifications on all of these so uh, just a quick rundown on that level one is your basic just profile build level two is going to be where you can uh, send and receive cryptocurrencies and then level three is going to be where you can use fiat funds to purchase cryptocurrencies and so that requires your social security number home address uh, some sort of bill showing what your uh, current home address is and then you have to take a picture of your id front and back 
Uh, and once you submit those through all these exchanges, then they'll give you approval for that uh, bank account funds transfer. So it's a requirement known as KYC, which is know your customer, which is a US uh, you know, regulation where you have to have that approval in order to uh, buy and sell things with the USD. So if you're not interested in signing up for these cryptocurrency exchanges, but you have something like Cash App or PayPal uh, that you've used to just you know send money or uh, receive money through eBay or just with friends, you can actually purchase Bitcoin, I think Ethereum, and maybe a couple other cryptocurrencies through these as well. Cash App might just be Bitcoin, but I think PayPal, you can do a few of those. Uh, what's really cool with Cash App is you can use it just like Venmo, so you can uh, just pay people for you know any purchases or receive money for anything that somebody bought from you in addition to just purchasing Bitcoin directly through their app. Uh, it's super easy to use, so if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and try out Cash App or go ahead and use PayPal if you already have an account there. Um, just to get into the space and kind of test it out. One nice tool that I wanted to cover in addition to the cryptocurrency exchanges is a website called CoinMarketCap. So if you just want to see some information on all the cryptocurrencies as well as their uh, white papers to see what that whole cryptocurrency is about, as well as some of the history on trades and the value of those, uh, you can go ahead and just run all the way through here. It has tons and tons of cryptocurrencies on here. Uh, and just click through those at your leisure, read about them, see if something interests you. But I just think this is a really cool space and I just wanted to give that quick kind of rundown on some of the exchanges you can use for people who are completely new to the space. So again, I'm not a financial advisor at all. I just enjoy this. I think it's really exciting. So don't you know take any information or any advice from me on what to buy or that you should invest your money in this. I just wanted to help out if you are interested uh, to show you a couple of the avenues that you can get signed up for and go ahead and start your trading. So all right, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions uh, you know, in, in the comments below. I really enjoy this. I talk about it all the time. I want to start doing more videos on this, discussing different cryptocurrencies as well. Uh, so this is my first video covering the you know, initial exchanges. And so uh, definitely of interest to me. And I always look forward to hearing feedback or input from anyone else who is familiar with the space as well as people you know, just coming into the space brand new. Uh, I'd love to answer your questions. And if I don't have the answers to those, it gives me an opportunity to go out and research something else so I can bring those, uh, you know, those, those answers to you and the information that I found. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Have a good one. Take care.